Hi, welcome to a sunny, but cool, windy part of Chesterfield on a Tuesday afternoon. I've uh, got a couple of fish that have not been right and I've been looking after them, trying to sort out and find out what's wrong with them, but could never understand it. Tried a few scrapes in the past, but again, I've done it with an inexperience with the microscope or uh, just I'm not doing it right. But uh, yesterday I took out one with the saws on the side, did two scrapes down the back, two on the belly, and uh, spent an hour flicking through from 100 mag to 400 mag and couldn't see a single thing. So I gave it a salt bath, put it back in the water, and uh, I thought I'd give it another couple of days and then try one of the other fish. Noticed the big orange one flashing, but I didn't want to get that one out. Uh, and I got another one that got a bit of what I thought was carp pox on it, a bit of white uh, slime and specks on it. So I took that one out, gave it a, a swipe down the back, a scrape down the back even, and uh, put it under the microscope, cleaned the lenses on the microscope, and well, <laughs> within seconds, I found a fluke. And then just scrolling around there, I found probably five, six, maybe as many as a dozen on the whole slide. So I thought, well, before I put it back in the water, I'll just take another scrape off the belly and see if there's anything down there and just make sure there's no nothing else down there as uh, there could be numerous parasites. And uh, couldn't find anything on the belly, good news. But <laughs> it's a strange thing because after all this time, I'm really chuffed that I found some parasites on the fish, which is not a good thing to, to say, but at least now I know what I'm looking for and how to do it. So I did a uh, check on the, the, the slide and found a few and I, they'd actually look like they, they died after a bit but the original ones that I've shown that was moving about sucking as such couldn't tell whether they were gill flukes or uh, skin flukes. This is a still photo of a fluke uh, off the internet so you know what you're looking for and um, this is the video of the actual movements and I quickly how to identify it. One of the recommended treatments is fluke M and on fluke M guidelines it says you can treat the pond first with chloramine T to dissolve any of the slime on the fish to help the fluke. I'm going to share the microscope so you can understand what I'm using and if uh, anybody's got any tips and advice on it please Please let me know. I'm going to make it easier. I'm going to pass it on to other people and make their lives uh, easier. It's not, a, uh, it's not the easiest task that I've done, but now I know what I'm looking for and how to find it. Hopefully, I can uh, solve it. This is the microscope I'm using at the moment. It's a 240 supply. has four lenses at the bottom which I think is a 410-40-100 semi complex and it has a 10 magnification at the top I know it's a Brunel, but I'm not sure what make it, uh, what model it is.
Well, at last I found Parasite. First stage was to prepare the chloramine tea and the instructions said that it needed 15 grams per 1,000 gallons. Got just over 2,000 gallons so we're looking at 30 grams of chloramine tea dissolved into pond water sprinkled on the surface. Apply the chloramine tea to the water then allow 12 to 24 hours before you start the fluke M. Um, and just like the fluke M um, it recommends to switch off your UV while using this product. Once you've got the correct dose, add it to a bucket of pond water or a watering can and mix it up really well. Once you've got it uh, mixed up and it's really dissolved, you can then sprinkle it over the surface of the water evenly. So in here we've got a double sealed bag which I've already opened up to measure out and it says we need 11.8 grams per thousand gallons 11.8 grams per thousand gallons and I've got just over 2,000 gallons so 23.6 is what it should be and we're 24 That's 24 grams of the fluke solution mixed to boiling water. It says 11.8 grams per thousand litres, thousand gallons. I've got about 2,000, just over 2,200 gallons. So. 11.8 is 23.6 and then put to make it. So now we're going to let that cool and then I can pour it into the flow of the return of the pond. So over a space of an hour I slowly added a couple of spoons every couple of minutes above the filter return of the pond and allowed it to just drop down and then spooned it round to circulate it and evenly mix it into the pond water. Quick summary. Last week I did a scrape house of fluke on one of the fish, so I decided to treat the whole pond. Started off on day one with some chlorine tea and 15 grams per thousand gallons is what I use to retreat that 24 hours and then 24 hours later I used some fluke M. And that was 11.8 grams per thousand litres. Added that all into the pond. Followed the instructions, it soon as we the pond, so we'll give it seven days and do repeat uh, dose. Catch you later.